Okay, so everyone, <laughs> say Kai. Do you know the meaning of Kai? Kai. It's Kai. It's a Kizanya language. Okay, we, we have a lot of uh, word in Kizanya. We use Kai. We use Ziu. We use Zas. You know what Zas means? Yeah. What? That's Kai. Zas. It means. For example, you're amazed. For example, Urbana did something great. You will be amazed. Then you will say, Zas. It means, wow. Okay? So that's our Kizanya language. Now you know. Okay? So right now, Ur Urbana will tell you a story about. Can you read this one? Crow and the snow. Crow and in the snow. Okay? So before I. Uh, uh, I start to uh, before Urbana starts to tell you the story. Can you uh, give a, like a, can you tell the the characters of uh, the, the crow? Can someone tell me the characters? What kind of uh, animal is the crow? It's a bird. It's a bird. And how about if you see a crow, what do they do? They eat. They, they eat. Go. Sometimes they are like lazy, laid back, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's the characteristic of the crow. Because here, Urbano will tell you a different kind of story of the crow. Okay? So let's start. So there's the crow. One day, the crow is flying over the snow. Okay? And then there's this group of friends, the other animals. They went to uh, the snow to play ice skating. Do you play ice skating? Yes. Did you experience? Where? I, I play ice skating. You tried. So it's very hard at, uh, at the beginning, right? Yes. What? From in, in Hawaii? In ice skating ring in the city. Oh my God, Great. I went there too before. Okay, so it's been uh, like it's been left behind. Hi, say hi to Urbano. Hi. The crow has been left behind the house, and all of their uh, friends went outside for a uh, to do the ice skating. They didn't. They didn't even wake up the crow to come with them. Now the crow starts to follow their footprints because he doesn't know where they go. And like that, ho oh, ho, see, says the crow and swoops down low. I think I'll follow where they go, like that. Then, as he follows the footsteps, the footprints, he saw then five, five fine snowmen made of snow. Remember this one, huh? This one. What, what do you call this? Scarf. 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 Remember this one, huh? Because later, maybe the crow can uh, find something about it. Okay? And then the crow starts flying again to follow the foot, footsteps. See, there's a lot of footsteps. See this one? Footsteps. And then he saw one crow made of... What's this? Made of snow and sticks and wood. And then, see that? starts walking again. Now he's walking. He's following the footsteps. Crow blinks and sees the trail goes on. What next? He thinks and trots along. He spots a red sled by a gate. So he saw, what's this? Sled. Do we use this uh, without snow? No. 
No, because it won't slide. We use only with the with the what you call this a wheel. Okay, so so the crow, so the sled, and even a yellow hat, and then a fallen fallen skate. The trail leads to, I think he's almost there, where their their uh, his friends are. Okay. Then, now, he went to a frozen lake. He saw his friends playing around in the ice cream. But I think something happens to the lake, to the lake of ice. Mice and wolves and moles are skating. And someone uh, screamed, oh no, cries uh, crow. The ice is breaking. So I think there's a tragedy there. So if the ice breaks in the in the lake, what will happen? Yes, and then under the the uh, I mean the ice lake, what's cold water? Cold water. So the ice cracks. You see? Like that. And then one of their friends left. In the middle of the what's that Urbano? In the middle of the lake. What happens next is it falls down to the to the hole. It's very cold there. He might uh, he might get sick. He might not recover, and then they're very cold like that. So. The, the, it's a mole, their friends. Help calls the moles. I'm falling in and I'm cold and I can't swim. So the mole cannot swim. So the mole needs a help. And then the crow sees it. Don't despair. I'll be right there, says the crow. So the crow to the rescue, right? Then the crow flies very fast. The crow can fly so fast. It's not just a, he can swim very fast. And then he leaves the lake. In seconds, he flown past the gate. Remember this one? He passed by the, the snowman wearing a scarf, right? While he's following the path of the what? <laughs> Following the path of footsteps. Exactly. He saw this one. He spies the snowman, dives down low, grab, grabs a scarf, and back he goes. So, what will he do? Do you have any idea? What will he do next? How about the others? What will he do next? <laughs> For example, this is the this is the hole. I fell here. What will you do with the scarf? Yes. Okay. He will pull the other bird. What else? Who else? He will go up. What will you do with the scarf? Pull it. To whom will he give the scarf? To the other bird. Who fell in the hole? The bird. Bird? Okay, let's go back to this picture. What's this? It's a mold. It's a kind of uh, like a big uh, rat family like that. Okay, so he took the scarf and then went back to the lake. Once. Quick, catch hold. Take this mold. So what he does next is he gives the other end to the, to the mold. Because the others cannot fly. Only the crow can fly and give the other end of the scarf. 
because if the other goes here, the crack the crack might might get uh, big. Then they will fall as well, right? Then after that, he gives the other end to the to his friends to pull the mold up. Okay, so after me, one, two, three, here is pulling. They are pulling the scar to pull out their friend mold. <coughs> after that. They save the mold and then put the mold in the safe place. With one last shift, cold mold is free. He sits and shivers by a tree. Let me get a sled, says the crow. So the crow goes back to the place where he find or he saw the sled. They will use this to put the mold there because the mold is injured and very cold. It's very cold. It's chilly. He cannot walk by himself. That's why they need to put him in the sled. And then, what's this? It's a rope. And this one, and then this one as well. The hat. So, and soon is giving the mold a toe. So, the crow is pulling the sled with a mold. It's helping him because the mold cannot walk by himself. And after that, they went to their home to have a hot chai chocolate or milk tea you know chai right who drinks chai here chai no. you put uh, milk in your chai no. yeah. me as well i like chai okay so now all are warm and safe and snug mole gives a green and leaves his mug so they have a toast to celebrate uh, because he saves the mold. A toast, he says, a toast to crow. He's the hero of the snow. And that's the end of the story. So, what do you think about the story? What do you learn about the story? Uh, earlier, I asked you about the characteristic of the crow. Saving is good, exactly. What else? How about this, uh, what do you call this? Group of Elsa, then Snow White, and this one. What's your, what? Anna, and the other one, Little Red Riding Hood, I think. And then this one. That's like the blue one. What do you know? What's your character? And the pirate. Yes. You're the your Jack, the sparrow. Someone fell in the water. Yes, someone fell in the water. What do uh, their friends do? He pulled. He pulled. They uh they help each other to pull him out, right? Yeah. So you cannot do it by yourself. You need a friend to help you, right? Yeah. So, how about the characteristic of the crow? We've been deceived by his, uh, like, the, like the appearance, right? Because what, uh, because of what they do, what we saw from the crow, but we didn't see the kindness of the crow, right? So. The lesson here is never leave your friend behind. Your friend will always be there for you no matter what. Right, Urbano? Right? So, and that's it. That's our uh, the story of, the storytelling of Urbano. It's called Crow in the Snow. Okay? Give a hand for Urbano. Thank you.
So if anyone of you wants to take a picture with Urbano, come closer. Go. One by one, if you want. Go. Hi. Who can introduce me to Urbano? Who can tell me something about Urbano? Today's his birthday. Did you sing to him? You sung to him? Do you want to sing to him again? Yeah? Okay. Let's sing happy birthday to Urbano. One, two, three. So now, uh, who knows what today is? Why are you here today? Yes? Yes? We're having fun. We're celebrating World Book Day. Today is the 23rd of April, and it's World Book Day. So we're going to make bookmarks. Would you like to make bookmarks? Yes! Yeah, let's stand up and go over there. 